New developments on our target foe investigation. Where's the chief? Who could forget this? Coventry Fire Department SUV seen in our undercover video was used for trips to the golf course, a vacation home, and even bars, raising serious questions of accountability. Our probe into the Coventry Fire Chief led to seismic changes at the department, including his termination. Now we've learned the financially troubled fire district is putting that SUV up for sale. Let's get to Target 12 investigator Tim White, who's here now with a preview of his findings. The Coventry Fire District bought the 2014 Chevy Tahoe for $30,000. It was used by now former Fire Chief Paul Labadia. Our undercover video showed the chief using the SUV to go to a golf course in another town several times during the day. We found him drinking during the day, then driving back to the fire station in the department vehicle. Our most stunning finding was on Federal Hill. An unknown person accessed the SUV and rolled what appears to be a joint, then shared it with two other people. After a night of partying, including several drinks and apparently smoking pot himself, Labadia drove the SUV back to Coventry. He was fired in the wake of our investigation. Now, the district recently slashed its taxes and is now facing a deficit of more than $400,000. Division Chief Ben Perra tells me they're not only selling the SUV, but a list of other vehicles and equipment. These are all going up for sale. Why is the department doing this? Uh, basically because of our budget restraints right now, we need some um, cash flow. Our cash flow is pretty, pretty low. We lowered our taxes by 15%, and we basically still have the same bills that we had the year before. So we're in, trying to address that problem right now. Tonight, we tell you exactly what the district is looking to put up for sale, including a huge chunk of land not far from the fire department. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. So Tim will be back with new details tonight in this Target 12 investigation. Where's the chief on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock?